If you want to be happy, it's going to have to be a lifestyle switch. And if you want to be happy, you're going to have to do the work in deep. Quick fixes become better diets to take back your time and live your life for you. Because if you want to be happy, it's going to have to be a lifestyle switch. Hello, hello, hello. I've got to get my head in it now, haven't I? Oh, crikey. Right, here we are. Welcome back for another live declutter with me. Um, this one is really hard to frame because I'm trying to get the whole linen covered in. Let's see if that helps to get my head in it. There you go, got my head in it. Um, so this is part of the October challenge, 10 for the 10th month. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, and Oh, I've had lots of fun trying to make sure I can download these videos to save them onto YouTube. And what's ended up happening is I've had to upgrade my StreamYard for the month, um, which is annoying, but needs must. I tried playing, tried playing around. It does mean that I can put this uh, cool logo here. Although it's quite big, so I might get make it smaller or get rid of it or something. It seems to be quite taking up quite a lot of space, but hey, uh, we'll leave it there for the moment <laughs> as it's just the cupboard door. Um, so today we are doing the linen cupboard and although there is bits of tips and tricks and stuff these are more declutter with me so yes some of it I might go a bit quiet while I'm like thinking through what I'm gonna do um this I'm really obviously really really lucky to have this big cupboard on the landing and um, I feel like it's another bedroom <laughs> um but we don't have that much stuff <laughs> so kind of also don't need it which means that we've just sort of filled it unnecessarily we've got a um another cupboard that you'll have seen on my instagram stories which is over there which has got the boiler in and i think if the boiler was in here then yeah still still have loads of space i just i don't i don't get why it's quite so big um i guess people have lots of stuff and uh or you'd most actually if we did it really carefully most of what we've got in our loft could probably fit in there and then not use the loft but might as well use the loft um but we've got the cupboard with the boiler in we have our overflow bathroom products in there toilet rolls because i tend to buy those on bulk it's one of the few things i do get on bulk um i get them from who gives a crap but um i want to try naked sprout when this lot have run out as well because they do these really cool bamboo unbleached toilet rolls anyway that's by the by um and we also have like our covid tests in there and um the face wash and face cream I use, you can return all the packaging to be reused as opposed to just recycled. And I store that in there. So it kind of leaves this as becoming a bit of a dumping ground. Um, and as always with any kind of declutter project, the first thing you want to be looking at doing is deciding what you actually want in the space. So categorize first. So for me, categorize of this is we do use it as a holding space for, I'm gonna have to get rid of that logo because it's too big, it's too big and it's really distracting me. Um, so let me just remember how to do it. If I just tap that, there we go, we got rid of it. It was just, it was just too big. I couldn't see it on the test screen because the video was up, there we go, because I seem to be wandering into it a lot. There we go, much better. I will work on making it smaller and see-through. Um, so categories first. Um, for me, we do want to keep an empty space that we use as a, a drop spot for stuff that's going into the loft. Um, the loft hatch is here, so it's super close, but it's a right pain getting the ladder out. You have to get a chair to stand on to get the ladder out. It's also really noisy and right by my daughter's room, so I don't want to do it at bedtime. Um, so we usually wait until there's a couple of things or if I'm working on something and I'm slowly moving bits there. So um, I was working on my mum's memory box, which we did as a live during the week. That was emotional. I can't lie. I got into bed and had a good old cry and I cuddled with my other half. Uh, my mum passed away in 2015. So and I've never been through that box before. It was her memory box. So um, it was going through and, and sort of putting things together on what bits were important memories for me, what ones for my sister. There's a box now for my sister to pass on to her to see if she wants to keep those bits. Um, but that's obviously now ready to go off in the loft. Uh, but it's heavy. So also I need my partner to help me get heavy things into the loft. Um, and then we've been clearing out my mum's old house recently. And I've got a few bits of Christmas stuff that I want to put in 
they will go into the boxes that have our Christmas decorations in. But as we're so close to Christmas, I'm going to put the box up as it is. And then when we get all the Christmas decorations down, I'll work out which ones I want to keep and circulate those in. Um, there's no point in doing a job now that I'm going to be doing again in a month's time anyway. Well, six weeks. Um, but that does mean for me, a category is a bit of empty space for loft stuff to go into so we've just changed our duvet that's another one that we've got here just changed our duvet over for our winter duvet um however i'm quite tempted to get rid of this one because it's smaller than our bed and i really missed it was such a short window where we actually needed a thinner duvet um, and in previous years we've just put a sheet had a single sheet kicked the whole duvet off and just had a single sheet and i think we'll probably just do that so I think I will discuss that with my partner and possibly get rid of that one. But that's going to get there. Anyway, that's by the way. Um, that's part of the little pile of things that will live down there. And then, I mean, we normally go up once a week. If there's stuff there, I wait until there's two or three things and he's free, which weekend. So that will go this weekend anyway. Um, other things we store in here is some spare hangers. I don't know what it is. But we always seem to have either too many or too less hangers. So I, I, my partner uses wooden ones. I use the velvet covered ones. Um, so we usually have a little stash of spare hangers in here. My daughter's clothes go onto these as well, onto the velvet covered ones. Um, I haven't converted him yet. But part of that is that we do, this house has a lot of built-in wardrobes. So we're not massively short for space. Um, However, we're trying to understand for a long term perspective, how little space could we live in? Um, and so I might be slowly converting him onto these on some of the things. But he's got a lot of uh, his shirts and suits that need to have a shoulder, whereas his T-shirts and polo necks could probably go onto these. But so we have two types of hangers in our house and we have a small stash. And I always keep one of these. Just one rarely gets used as an actual hanger. But they just seem to be one of those. I feel like it, if it wasn't so big, it would be in the toolbox. But just a helpful thing to have is a plain metal hanger. There's just things that come up, turning it into some sort of hook and hooking things out. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I always keep one, one plain metal hanger for things like that. Um, he likes some of these for his suit. So they go in our in our plain hanger section. So, yeah, hanger stash in here as well. Um, we have our memory boxes stored in here, which is obviously a bit of a funny one to have in there, but it's dry. It's a dry storage cupboard or linen cupboard. So actually for us, that works quite well. If the boiler was in here, I probably wouldn't put it in here because you're putting it close to water or risk of explosion, which obviously for memory boxes is not ideal. But as the boiler is not in this cupboard, um, for me, those being in here works quite well at the moment. Across the top of the shelf, we have all our towels and bedding. That is the bit that annoys me the most about this cupboard. Uh, we have our spare chairs from our dining table in here. Um, again, because it's dry, they stack quite neatly in the corner. Um, there's some artwork that was too big to put into the loft. So we, we have a lot of artwork. Most of it, like it isn't ours, all of it, like friends. And then when I say artwork, like, things in frames like we're not we're not talking uh, picassos or anything like this we're talking uh, photos like things that hang on walls as opposed to just art as it were um of course my favorite art is just a picture of my daughter why would i want anything else um but these things were too big to go into the loft but we hadn't got around to hanging them um so one of them i'm gonna try and convince my partner to let go of because i hate it <laughs> <laughs> this picture of a poppy and I don't like it he got it in a charity thing years and years ago and I just don't like it it doesn't look shit it I just I don't know um so I'm gonna try and convince him to let go of that one <laughs> um and then the other two were meant to be going up in his office and we never got around to kind of like finishing his office it's now I guess as close as it's gonna get um that like yeah I think we're I think we probably won't be doing anything else to it for a while. So I'm going to try and get him to hang those two pictures today or tomorrow so that they are done as well. So they're going to be coming out too. Um, so that section does not need to stay. We do keep our um, overflow of coats in here. So we are going to be doing a landing station and coat closet as part of the 10 for 10. Um, 
So I'm not going to rotate the coats yet, but um, the spring summer coats will come up into here and the autumn winter coats will go down there. So I kind of need to leave a designated space for that anyway. And then I have like this one thing that I need to find a home for. <laughs> But I'll take that out in a minute. Um, so yeah, overflow clothes. And my partner keeps his seasonal in here. Uh, so his summer shirts are all on one hanger in here as opposed to being boxed and put away because they are, there's like four or five of them. They're all on a hanger. They're not in the way causing any problems. They might as well stay in here as opposed to being boxed up and going in the loft. So um, seasonal coats and partner seasonal is definitely a category for our linen cupboard not really a very common one for most <laughs> uh, and the hoovers hoovers need a category in here um i do have some organizational boxes in here um just like a little stash down the bottom of things for doing drawer organizers and stuff for work um but i don't want them to stay in here so i'm going to bring them out and find them a new home um haven't 100 percent decided where it's going to be yet but they are going to they are going to get a, a new home so they are not cluttering up this cupboard anymore so that's for me as the categories and um, the main bits i want to sort out is obviously the actual linen but our linen cupboards become these big dumping grounds so you have to make sure that you are clearing out the things so i'm going to start by taking out the items that i know need need to go somewhere else so this is going over here this one, uh, this is the one I want to get rid of. So I'm going to move that one here to discuss with my partner because I really don't like it. <laughs> and, and we just, uh, like we plan to go smaller. We get it. We want to consistently keep downsizing <laughs> until we're in like a forever size house that we can manage when we're older and that we're just not heating space we don't need. And we'd rather have garden than we would house we've decided over time. So um, we've got this little hook for the loft, but it doesn't actually work. So I'm gonna put this in the loft. Uh, we haven't quite worked. I'm sure it was meant to do something fancy for the ladder, but we end up climbing on the chair. So that can go actually in the loft and then we don't have to worry about it because we're rented. I can't get rid of it. Otherwise, I'd just get rid of it because it doesn't serve a purpose. Um, these and these are going in the loft because I know he. Do, I know we don't want to get rid of these, but he doesn't want to put them up right now. And that is a useful frame that I'm keeping. So those need wrapping up. So that's my loft. My loft pile. Anything this side, I know, is going up into the loft. Um, hangers. These ones are all my cheap fly um this one can go i just don't i just don't need it i've got a bag of hangers actually by the front door someone's picking up so i might pop that in there this i mean this is actually pageant outfit um but it didn't come out how i wanted it to i had a vision for it and then people kept saying no 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 that's not right and i let them sway me and then it ended up not how they were describing or how I originally wanted it, but it's really pretty. Like I spent loads of time on it. Um, and I feel like it would be of use to somebody. In fact, I know like a theater company or something. Um, in fact, I know a theater company, it's in Cornwall. I don't know if anywhere near it, but I don't know. It has a little dear little place in my heart. So I might, package this up and send it off there yes i'm gonna do that let's send it off to them they are of all the people i know most likely to use it even if they cut it up and turn it into something else and um, i feel like of all of anyone they are going to be the ones that that can find a purpose for it and i have no purpose for it i think this is one of those ones that i find because i spent this was a lot of time and and for something worn for one event years ago was a lot of money in comparison like, look, not a lot of money per se but a lot of money for one event um which is part of why i've stepped away from pageantry is just it is too expensive for what it is and what i personally was getting out of it so not a general thing but for me personally it was too much money and time for the reward 
factor of it. Um, I mean, there are lots of other reasons why I wanted to step away from it, um, but that was that was definitely one of them. Um, but the thing is, once the money is spent, it's gone. So it doesn't matter if you hold on to the item that you wasted the money on. It doesn't reduce the wasted money, <laughs> especially when it's just hanging in a cupboard. Like it doesn't once the once the item is purchased, the money is already wasted. Like you can decide or used up. The item often doesn't hold its value. Very few items hold their value anymore. Um, very few items increase in value. We did have one lucky thing with something we purchased, and then um, it actually the second hand we purchased new. The second hand one became worth more than the old new one than it cost us when we bought it new because of Brexit and it was a uh, a, a product that had come from the within the EU when we were in the EU um but it's so rare so rare that anything increases in value nowadays or maintains its value there are a few exceptions um so just let it go the, it's not, it's not going to go it's not going to go back up in price i'm not going to get the money back um, and then these ones are all i'm just going to move them over but they will go back into that side these are just our coats um, most of them are my partners, so I can't declutter any of those. Um, and mine, I will go through when I do the coat cupboard. But I've had, I've had my coats pretty much for a fairly long time. I rarely buy. I can tell. I think I bought a a, a water a thin layer waterproof when I did um, the three Ben Nevises in one go. Like I ran up and down to Ben Nevis three times. Um, I know, crazy. Um, <laughs> it was awesome, but crazy. I bought a, a thin waterproof then because I didn't have one that could go over enough layers. I had one that was smaller from when I cycled in Madagascar. Um, so I got rid of that one, I think. Maybe it's in my running kit, but it's it's not it's not really a coat. It's more like a waterproof layer for sports. Um, so I'm kind of happy with my coats as they are. I won't to be honest, if one of them fell apart, I'd probably, depending on which one it was, I probably wouldn't replace it. Um, but I don't need to. Um, I don't. I don't want to declutter any of them. I'm. I'm pretty happy with the ones that I've got. They all serve a purpose. I feel like a few too many, but I don't want to get rid of any. Um, <laughs> just don't. Right. These are little organizational products that I use for work related things so I sort of keep a small stash of little boxes and what have you for, for when I'm working on product projects with clients or if I want to do videos and stuff feeding the beast of social media so um, I will keep hold of these but I do want to find them um, a new home that I think is going to be <laughs> they don't stack I don't stack I think it's going to be in my office so we're going to move this over here there we go I'm going to find them a new space in my office so we'll put them there decision made um, I'm not going to pull the stack of chairs out and um, because that seems a bit silly um but there is so our table downstairs we've got basically we've got enough matching chairs that we can do everyone around it for christmas but it would be excessive to have all those chairs there um however we do get them in and out it's just not worth putting them into the loft um they might as well stay down here because we do get them in and out and um, my daughter's got some friends around at the end of the month we'll use them for that kind of thing so um i am gonna tuck them right into the corner though in fact this one will go on top i've got one holding this door open down here that was in the spare bedroom but actually it doesn't need to be there i've got enough stuff going on in the spare bedroom at the moment because it's where i store my furniture that i've upcycled before it gets sold so um that will go in here as well. So that's another one to get out of the way. Um, however, what has been a bit problematic is the coats being over the chairs. So what I'm going to do is I will switch the coat hangers. I'll keep the coats at this end 
and I'll put the coat hangers over the chair at that end. Is this cupboard equal? Yes. So <laughs> while I was checking, so the cupboard goes in and round the corners. If one side was deeper or one side was shallower, that's what I was looking at because the coats are wider than the chairs. I'd put the coats at the deeper end. Um, but they don't. I will also put the longer coats. So these ones, the longer items, I'll put them against the wall. Um, so they'll go against the wall and then the shorter coats will come out. Um, or do I want to put the chairs this end? Oh, decisions. No, I don't. No. So it'll be longer coats, shorter coats, which I'll do when I do the organising bit. Um, but at the moment, we're just clearing it out. So, oh, But it's good to think about these things as you go. I've got so we keep we have a little handheld hoover up here and we have our main hoover we have three hoovers in this house i know i know but i think when our big hoover dies we won't replace that whereas having the two little handheld ones is quite useful um and it's because at some point houses merged and we ended up with additional hoovers it's not like we went out we're like we need three hoovers let's buy three hoovers um but they all kind of serve a purpose so uh, i'm gonna swap the coats around now because then i've got a bit more space to work Longish, longer coats that end all the way up. And that's that one. Right. Get rid of that hanger too. This can go on a wooden one, which is not as thin as the uh, the velvet ones, but it's closer. And that'll be they'll be going downstairs soon anyway. Partner lights is on the wide shoulders. That's another coat. And seasonal clothes and shirts. I'll probably put those in a um in a thingy bag, in a coat bag. Mm. Yeah. We've got loads of um suit bags and stuff in the loft. So next time I'm up there. In that department, I will put a suit bag over those so they don't get damaged over the winter. But there we go. So we've got a bit, we've got a bit more space already. Um, and it also means that having the chairs there, there's a nice space for me to put the stand up hoover in it. And then I can tuck the other hoover can tuck in under the chair. So it's nice to know there. Um, right. Linen. Oh, I'm going to pull these out. Um, that's going to be my last thing to get out because that's the big sort. And then we have memory boxes. I'm just going to bring them out while I'm working. Why is this bill so full? Oh. Let's pop these over here. So these memory boxes are like our Dropbox memory boxes. Um, my daughter has a lovely suitcase um i have a wooden box that my grandpa made for me um but we'll, and my partner's memory box is many many boxes in our loft at the moment he has said he will do it but he doesn't want to do it right now and as we have the space to store at the moment i'm not going to push but we will need to get it done in the next year or so <laughs> um and then these are my daughter's art folders that oh, we keep all the art of hers that we want to keep longer term. So again, we have a Dropbox, all her artwork, see we've recently done it, all her artwork over a school year goes into here. Um, and then in the summer holidays, we went through it. We decided which bits she wanted to keep. So she keeps a couple of bits. She has a folder for each school year that they go into. So if they don't fit in there, she can't keep them. Everything else we take pictures of, and they go onto a hard drive um, and then we can recycle, shred, 
whatever. Some of them we pull apart so she can make new art projects with. Um, but I found that this, so this is like a boot, a knee high boot shoe box um, is quite a nice size because most things fit in here um, over the year. Um, at some point, I'd like to make this a nice pretty storage box. And at some point, the ones that I fold in will be a nice pretty storage box, but no point right now. And it works quite nicely. Um, and this is just a nice big dry cupboard. So it's a good place to store it, um, but might not be the sort of thing you're going to have in your linen cupboard. Um, you can actually put comments. If you've got any comments and questions, do feel free to pop them in the box. Um, I need a mouthful of drink. Where's my drink gone? There we go. Right, we are now actually getting to the linen part of the linen cupboard. So what I had, it wasn't this messy. I put in an organisational system. I did a declutter when we moved, put in an organisational system for them. Um, and I just don't like it. <laughs> but also, um, I've had a lot of work projects and stuff going on in this last year and uh, since we moved and since I put the system in place and so my partner does um, a lot more in the house now um, than he was like that was just that was the dynamic that we had and now we've changed it um, and uh, so we we need a system that he will stay on top of a bit better and it's maybe a bit more obvious for him so you can kind of um, see things just got thrown into the tops of the boxes whereas when I was doing it, I take the box out and put it into the right places. So I kind of need to make it a bit simpler for him. So that's why part of the reason that we are we are needing to do that. Um, I'm also going to sort of declutter a few bits and pieces as well, because I know we've got a few extra bits in. Um, so we have categorised, we've pulled it all out as well to see what we've got in here. Um, we've now got onto the minimise section. So uh, like I said, we've got piece of art in here that I'm minimizing get rid of but from a, a bedding perspective you need to have a strong think with yourself about how many sets of bedding you actually need so this will link into how you do your bedding laundry how many beds you've got all that kind of thing and um, so in our house my spare bed and my daughter's bed are the same size they both have doubles um, and then we have a super king because I kick something chronic <laughs> and nobody needs to sleep with that. Um, so we we need a big bed. I'm a very fidgety sleeper and my partner is a very light sleeper. So it was that or separate rooms. Um, so we have um, predominantly super king fitted sheets. And then on the spare beds and my daughter's bed, we just tuck them under more. Um, I wouldn't buy a double fitted sheet um, because then I have like we have got some double fitted sheets, but as they are falling apart or getting stained beyond use, whatever that might happen, we are only replacing our fitted sheets with Super King sheets. So if you're going out and doing sheets and you're happy to do that, you might really need a nice fitted sheet over your double bed, but also have a Super King. You get to decide that. Um, but if you had like one pull out single bed, so we have this fold up single mattress in the loft that we can use if we have people staying. We've got a double air bed that's a little bit smaller than a double bed. There's no point for us. We would much rather have the space and the simplicity than we would have the sheet that perfectly fits the bed. As long as it's bigger than the bed, it's fine. Like we don't need that. Um, we have a super king duvet on our bed and then we actually have king duvets on the two other beds so i always try and get a duvet size up from the bed size now super king being the biggest bed here in the uk um we haven't actually been able to find a bigger duvet so i actually have the duvet size that fits but the double beds have king duvets on um so we don't have any double duvet covers I don't have a single sheet for the single mattress. I put a double sheet around it and I just tuck it in more. Um, and that's for me is a big part of having less. I love white bedding. So all our bedding is plain white. If we lost all our bedding and I was to, to replace it all, I would replace everything with exactly the same thing. Um, I've even gone off the Oxford. So I used to love, um, so you get a pillowcase and then if it's got that extra bit around called an Oxford, um, I used to love that, but actually they never look neat and tidy. They need too much ironing. If For me to be happy with how they look, 
they need to be ironed and starched and I just don't have the energy effort willpower want to do that um so I've completely um evolved past wanting the oxford ones the other ones are easier to deal with um I don't I don't want fancy stitching I I would have everything exactly plain white bamboo um fairly high quality bamboo so it doesn't rip or anything bamboo bedding on everything um and as things break and we need some more bedding at some point that's what I'll replace it with um but if you have sets and matching sets and you like bright colors then you are going to need to organize yours slightly differently and um, so for me because most of our bedding is all interchangeable um because even the white ones that are slightly different with the exception of um so we've got some fitted sheets that are still doubles um or king size and then we've got some super kings we've got uh three super king duvet covers for our bed um and then the rest are doubles and i'm not we have some spares in the loft that i'm slowly trying to I, I think i need another christmas in this house to work out how many of those we need kind of thing and um, so yeah it's thinking about how much do you need on a regular rotation if you're lucky enough to have another storage cupboard like we've got the loft um where you could put those once maybe twice a year so christmas maybe there's a big birthday each year where everyone gets together or you get together for easter could you pack up that spare bedding and put it somewhere else um i often store if i've got a good dry place to store my spare duvet for when we do get the air bed out i will often store the duvet cover on it and then when the person's gone i will wash the duvet cover put it back on put it in its storage bag seal it up and ready to go so it's i can get it ready quickly when the people come back um you need to think about those kind of steps and what is it that you actually need a bit more of regular access to uh so for me we have sheets duvet covers pillowcases swim towels swim towel beach towel activity towels and then actual towels for within the house bath mats hand towels flannels i think that's it um, so I'm going to group my like with like together, categorizing, little mini categorize again. So that's all my towels, bath mats, so badly folded at the moment, flannels. Oh, I forgot one. I have head towels, but I tend to keep those with my flannels. Um, that's my bath mat. A bit of a towel. That's all my pillowcases. Yeah. Um, so I recently did the, um, it will be going up on Instagram soon. I did the laundry cupboard at my mum's house, which is up for sale. Um, and that's a flash. Um, and did the linen cupboard there. And there um, they had, she had matching sets of bedding. And um, she's got a spare, had got. So she's in heaven, but she still has a house. <laughs> so we're going to refer to her as if <laughs> she's still has the house. Uh, so she's got a spare bedroom, main bedroom, and then there's another spare bedroom, but it's a sofa bed. So that bed isn't like always made up. Um, so three, basically three double beds, all with bedding on. And then she had three spare sets in that. Well, she had more than three spare sets, but this is how I set it up. Um, three spare sets of bedding. And because they are all matching sets and none of them match each other, part two of them match each other. So there's two of the same thing and the rest of them are all completely different. I put them in piles of the whole set together. So four pillowcases, a fitted sheet, a duvet cover, and there where I had, I also put a flat sheet in because I know um, her partner who lives in the house at the moment, he likes a, a flat sheet too. So duvet, flat sheet, and then you go to bed between the flat and the fitted sheet like that. Um, so where there were enough flat sheets, I put a flat sheet in the set as well. So they were in sets. So if you have matching colour sets and they aren't all, the whole house isn't the same, I would do them like that. There are clever folding videos where you can fold the pillowcase around them. So they're in sets. Um, my mum's linen cupboard literally just had things loosely folded and then shoved in pillowcases. Um, shouldn't worry about it or crease, whereas I've made it look pretty now in the cupboard. Um, I'm just doing a bit of a... Um, do you have any sheets in pillowcase if that's the person I put? Yes. Um, yeah, so my so when I cleared out mum's cupboard, they were literally just shoved in the pillowcase. 
Um, whereas I wanted, because it's for sale and people open cupboards, I wanted people to open the cupboard and them to realise how big the cupboard is big, her, her laundry cupboard, it's particularly for the size of the house. Um, I wanted them to see how big it was uh, because actually I've been able to do bedding, towels and holiday towels all beautifully spaced out and taken a shelf out of the cupboard and there was still enough space so um yeah I did them I did hers in piles but you could put there's there's clever ways if you want it neatly folded there's clever ways to fold the pillowcase around it I just don't buy into that because for most people that's not a realistic use of time I think it's really cute and instagrammable but I am a very realistic organization person <laughs> <laughs> what things to be easily maintainable and that just wasn't so um it's not something I personally teach but putting them in the pillowcase and and just folding the uh, pillowcase edge over yeah that's totally realistic as far as I'm concerned go go for that so yes um whereas I can put all my white sheets together because they're all just white sheets. I can put all my pillowcases together because they're all just pillowcases. Um, and then I have to split my fitted sheets and my duvets. But it doesn't matter as long as I pull out the right size, it they all go together. So I don't have to put mine in sets. So you decide that one for you. Um, the number of sets as well. Um, I tend to keep... I have a favourite set on our bed, so I will always try and wash and dry in one go and put it back on because that's a set I like. Uh, we do our bedding every two weeks. I know some people think that's gross. Some people do it like every three days, um, but I just shower <laughs> um, because we're quite active people. We always shower every day, whether it's a quick rinse off or a full shower. And quite often there might be two showers if we are doing heavy sport and activities all got dirty or dusty. Like I just I'm not getting into my bed particularly dirty. I air it out and the moment it's aired out and then I make it up a little bit later into the day. Normally I'd have done that by now, but it's been a busy morning. Um, so, yeah, I'm quite happy in life changing my bedding every two weeks. Um, so one week I do mine. The next week I do my daughter's and um means I'm only dealing with one bed change a week and then the spare bed is done if guests come and stay um however fun fact if if you're a guest that stays a lot the chances are I will leave your bedding on if you've only stayed for two nights I'll leave it on until I know whether or not you're going to be the next guest so if you come and then you're likely to be coming back in the next month before someone else I'll leave the sheets on sorry not sorry <laughs> Um, I'll air it out and then if for some reason someone else is coming then I will change them but if the chances are that you're going to be the next person staying in that bed and you've just stayed I'm going to leave it on <laughs> like um but I mean it, it doesn't happen very well we just don't have guests very often and I'm about to fold the bed up so I've got more space for my upcycling furniture project so there's that um so yeah, you need to decide how often you need to change the bedding. Kids can be a little bit trickier as well. If you're potty training, you might want three sets of bedding instead of the two sets. But I generally find most of the time having two sets of bedding is plenty. Um, that will go up if it takes you a lot longer to get through the bedding. Like maybe you do you not get your bedding cleaned and washed and dried by the time your next bed change comes round. Um, one, you need to look at your laundry system because that's a long time. Um, but if you change your bedding a bit more regularly, then you might not get it. So if you change your bedding more than once a week, you would probably need three sets so that you've got a, a set in the wash, a set on your bed and a set that's clean. Um, whereas because we do ours every two weeks, I can have a set that's on and a set that's clean. Um, the one that's in the wash will be in and out of the wash within a day um, and dried. If it's really sunny, we dry them outside. Um, and if not, that is one of the things I do use my tumble dryer for is bedding. And um, it makes it soft and I don't tumble dry anything else. So, and I do all my washing at 20 and on a short wash. So I feel like I've earned my tumble dryer. <laughs> Work hard to earn my tumble dryer. Um, so I, that was bedding towels wise so I actually dry in my dressing gown I have one dressing gown I get out of the shower I put my dressing gown on I have a head towel um and then I have a proper towel and dressing gown I put that on and I put it in the wash I have a gym towel that I will shower with three or four times a week I will be showering at the gym um and I just wash between the two so I don't in theory I have those two towels my partner has two towels uh, my daughter has two towels that's it 
um, from a bathtub perspective. We do have a few spare ones when guests come. I keep them in the loft. I've got enough notice if guests are coming. Um, and to be honest, the chances are that my partner's spare towel or my daughter's spare towel will be dry and clean at the time of a guest coming. And then I can just use that. Um, so I don't, it's not something that I need to, there we go, put you up on the screen. There we go. Um, so it, I don't, I don't need excessive amounts of towels. So again, same with the beddings, depending on how often you change your towels, we tend to change our towels um, once a week. So we have one in, one out. If you change your towels more than that, then you might need to have a few more. But we use our towels once we're clean. <laughs> so I know people, some people literally do one. I don't get how they, these people's energy bills must be through the roof if they like use a towel once. And then unless you've got an actual medical condition, like obviously, then it's very, very different. But um, to use a towel once and then put it in the laundry basket you haven't cleaned yourself well enough in the shower. <laughs> um, so my daughter and my partner both have a towel out at the moment. My towels don't live in here because my gym towel lives in my gym bag and my uh, dressing gown lives in the bathroom. So that's their two spare towels. We have gained some swim towels. So we keep separate sets of swim towels. Um, these were at my mum's house and they're really cute. They're really cute. So I've decided that these are going to become, they're not massive, but they're still big. Like they're, they're, I think they're slightly smaller than a bath sheet. So my daughter and I are each going to have one of those as our our bath beach towel situation. Let's try to fold them up properly. There we go. Um, but there was only two. And I'm not sure that would be completely my partner's jam. <laughs> I mean, they're very cute in it. But not sure he'd uh, he'd appreciate that uh so he will have we'll keep this one which i keep as his bath beach dbd towel I've had these towels for ages so long but they're still going still going strong um to be honest we could probably get away with him not having a bath beach towel um if we go away anywhere we tend to go away places that has towels and he doesn't swim very often so usually we, he just could use another towel but anyway um which means we've got these two excess ones but i know where these are going i'm not getting rid of them but they are going to someone else's house so i know where these are going um so they can go over there in my declutter one and then we have two extra guest ones which I'm going to be relocating into the loft because, yeah, we just don't have guests very often. Um, they can go into with the excess ones. I kept two down. Like I said, we have two per person, so I kept two guest towels down. Um, but we have guests so rarely that we just don't, we just don't need them. They can stay in the loft. Um, so that's fine, which means that's one whole box done. Cool. Bath mats. So I keep one scruffy bath mat for if I need to wash dogs. I don't have a dog. I do plan on getting a dog at some point. Um, where is it? My children started using crazy amounts of towels, so we started a colour system. Each one has a different colour set now. That is brilliant. Yes. Um, and then they also uh, don't moan that someone else has used their towel. Um, so yeah, this one's got holes in it and stains on it and bleach on it. This is like my dog towel. We do look after other people's dogs sometimes. Um, I have stopped dyeing my hair now, but if I ever feel like I want to dye it again, um, I, I, and I'm doing it myself, I use it for this. But yeah, all those kind of messy things or if you've got really, really gross and I just don't want to use another one. I think, I think one gross bath mat. I mean, the bath mat itself isn't gross, but it's the one I allow gross things to happen on. That sounds really weird. <laughs> Um, but we got that one. Um, and then we keep four bath mats. So we've got two bath rooms, four bath mats. I seem to have an extra one here. Let's have a look. We've got each bathroom's missing a bath mat. That one's got one. Um, and I presume that, that one's got one. And I got five bath mats. I thought I only had four. Um, hmm. Interesting. So I'm going to check. But it might be letting go of one of these. So we've got two greys and two beiges. Um, there we go. Oh, 
that can go in the pile with the towels because that can uh, that can go that way. We did. To be fair, we had three bathrooms in the old house. It was just obscene. Um, don't need three bathrooms. It was a lot to clean. Um, to be honest, I just want one. I like the extra toilets. I don't need the. I don't need the whole bathroom. Um, but hey ho. So yeah, two bathrooms, two bath mats per bathroom again, so we can rotate, and that's easy. Um, and the same with hand towels. So we have hand towels in one of the bathrooms, the downstairs loo, and there's actually a kitchen place where we have a hand towel. So we have three hand towels out, which means we should have six hand towels on the basis of I change them once a week. Um, and even because they go in and out of the wash so quickly, I if I need to change one sooner than that, like if we have guests coming, I'll often change the hand towel just before they arrive. Um, because I've got spares for the other ones, I'm not going to change all the hand towels, like the one in our bathroom. Um, we tend to just, it's just me and my other half. He doesn't tend to use it. He tends to use his main bath towel on the thing to dry his hands. Um, so actually I tend to just use it for drying my face after I've washed it. So, um, yeah, it just doesn't, it doesn't need changing that often. Uh, but I still change every week, but it just means that we've got the spare backup. So we've got a hand towel, not in our bathroom at the moment. So that's the three spares. Let's put that one in the bathroom. <laughs> because I put a new one in the wash. So that's my three spare ones of those, three spare ones of those. Um, my daughter has three flannels. I have three flannels because those do get changed a little bit sooner. Um, but that's it, right, sheets. Whoa. These bare boys. I wish they labeled sheets better. It'd be so much easier to find which one was which. So if you are getting a new set of sheets, <laughs> write, on a tag, like label it somewhere. <laughs> so you can easily see what size it is because they just don't like when you first take it out of the packet, they don't make it easy. Um, these ones I know are my king duvet covers. Um, duvets, because they have this funny little stitch line on them. I mean, I'd have super king duvets on my all my beds. I don't think there's a problem with it overhanging. Overhanging duvet looks lovely. I love a big duvet. Um, but again, we've already got the king duvet. So as things, that's the thing, as things don't necessarily need to throw things out to replace them for the sake of it. But if we have a fire and lose everything, I would replace all our duvets with super king duvets and super king duvet covers. Uh, this is one of the Super King ones. <laughs> I'm breaking my own rule with the Super King ones because I we actually have three, but two of them have a lot of holes. In there. <laughs> Not enough holes to get rid of them. I keep sewing them up, but they're obviously the fibers are breaking down and they're very old. But I I haven't found what I want to replace them with yet. I don't want to spend the money on replacing them yet either. So it just hasn't been, it hasn't been done. Um, so I'm keeping the three because two of them are falling apart and one of them, so when one of them is completely gone, we will be down to the two, but there are, there are literal holes in them. So each time I, each time I change my duvet cover, I end up having to sew up some additional holes beforehand. Um, but other than that, I keep two sets of bedding per bed. <laughs> Um, da, 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 da. that is a fitted sheet it needs all should be fitted sheets oh we've got a sentimental pillowcase I know that sounds nuts so this was the pillowcase I had and I have a matching um hospital gown that you had like poppers at the front to breastfeed so this was from hospital um, and I've kept this. So if my daughter or I, um, I guess my partner as well, he can borrow it. If any of us ever have to go into hospital, we can have this lovely bright pillowcase. Because as much as I love white bedding, when you're in hospital, it is a bit depressing. So I feel like some colour when you're in hospital is a-okay. Um, but I, I, don't, I don't even feel like this should be in with the bedding anymore. Um my daughter only has one pillowcase. She'd probably quite like to use it on her bed, but can't decide. I can't decide where I want to keep this. 
because yeah it's more a sentimental thing than it is used as a pillowcase um, I'm gonna keep it out for the moment. I'm gonna have a think. I'm gonna think. I'm gonna put it in my memory box at the moment, actually. Get in my memory box and I will make a decision on it. On it at a later date. It's going. Right, what have we got here? These are the ones that they don't seem to like labeling. So that is my bamboo fitted sheet. So I know that that is the super king. It's a bit sad that you remember which brand goes with which size duvet at this point, but I am closer to 40 than I am to 30, so. <laughs> uh, that's life, that's what people say. You're flying high in April, so down in May. So this was a Super King, but it like shrunk. So it doesn't actually fit our Super King very well. I'm actually going to put it in with the, the king sized and double ones. There we go. Oh, I told a lie actually. <laughs> Sorry. And um, we only have one set of bedding now for our spare bedding in this one um because it's we just don't have guests back to back and if for any reason we did i could put on my daughter's spare set so our bed and my daughter's bed have two sets and our spare bed doesn't it just has the one set and um, so i told a lie i was like why can't i um find my other duvet cover so that is hers which goes where did i put it that's one I've already folded up, isn't it? Yeah. That's her, just her spare one there. That's her spare sheet. That's our spare sheet. That's our spare duvets. And that's the flat sheet. We have like one flat sheet for when it gets really hot and you want a flat sheet in the summer. And that is it. Cool. Done. Awesome. So how now I've got mine out, how I'm going to do mine, change my mind already, um, is I'm going to put our duvets and our fitted sheet in together her duvet, her fitted sheet in together, and then all the pillowcases together because all of them go with all of it. We don't need to split those up, that's fine. Um, and then I've got our beach towels together and our spare towels together, bath mats together, hand towels together, cool. I've grouped, everything is grouped. Um, everything I'm willing to get rid of, I'm getting rid of. See, this is I had the pillowcases in like a thing like this, but it hasn't it hasn't worked, and I want to use this somewhere else. So, um, yeah, that's all my pillowcases together. There was a system, I just didn't like the system. And look, I've gained all these empty IKEA cube boxes. So, boom. So what you could do is obviously you can get shelf dividers. That's one thing I thought about putting in here. Um, you can get these ones that you, like clip over the edge of the shelf. This is a weird shaped shelf because the shelf's not that thick. It's actually that thick. Um, so those probably wouldn't work in here. You can screw in things if it wasn't rented. You could do the boxes on their side. So you could do something like this to create dividers. That's quite a good way if it's rented. And also they, they nearly would fill up the space in here. Um, and then what can be quite handy is if you've got little gaps at the end in this shelf, what I would do is I would find something that I would wedge down there just to help stop them moving around without having to attach them to anything. But you could put double sided sticky tape on the bottom. That's not going to be too hard to get out afterwards. Um, but literally, if it's going to have lots of heavy things, you could do it like that. However, I I spent a long time going through seeing if anyone else had any other inspo. Um, and I didn't find this on anywhere else. So this I got for, I think it was like, it was either free or two pounds. I can't quite remember because I get a lot of freebies. And it's just one of these clothing organizers. Um, I didn't know how well this would work. So I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. And ideally I'd go for something wider. And if this does work really well, but this is maybe a bit too small, then I might upgrade it um, and buy a, a bigger one. But this is what we're going to go for for our linen cupboard organization moving forward. So let's put the full Velcro on there. 
and we're going to see how this works out. I'm a bit worried about this. So this this is this is not. I haven't done this for any clients before. Um, it's a completely new idea. I couldn't. I'm sure someone else has thought of it, um, but I couldn't find it anywhere online. Um, so I'm going to work out what space is going to fit. Yeah, there you go, like that nicely. Um, so you have to play around with the fold shape. And I think that's one of the other reasons that I I don't buy into so much these videos about folding because the actual shape you need to fold your item into will depend on what cupboard space you've got. Um, I'm working it to fit that drawer or that shelf or whatever it is. Um, there's one lady that I like on Instagram who gets out like she'll get the box out that it's going to go into and then she'll so she'll put the box like that and then sit and fold here so she can see how wide the thing needs to be to go in the box and um, like I said we don't tend to worry all our pillowcases are pretty much the same so pillowcases stacked done done and um, Next below that, I'm going to do my daughter's sheets, which was, that was mine, that one. And then there was another box, there it is. <laughs> Lost it, lost it already. Um, so we are going for realistic. Not going to be perfect. Really don't care if it's perfect or not. Is that gonna fit? I just want it to fit in the space. It doesn't, I'm not, I don't want to shove it in too much, but I'm also going to be real with myself of how much it's going to, is to maintain it looking a certain way. So there we go. And then I plan on attaching some little labels here that drop down, because I know there's always going to be a bit of space at the top. If I have a little drop down label there, I think that's too narrow for it to stick so I've got to find a way to attach it on there and um, so my partner can see which ones go with which um we've then got our spare so here's a little trick if you're so this obviously not very massively neatly folded like if you can see all the lengths are at different ends but it's a really big sheet and it's actually really hard to fold on myself. Um, even if you had like the space to lay it out, I mean, who really has the energy? So if you do a rough fold, but then, let's say I'm gonna just do this on the floor and lift it up. <laughs> um, so lie your roughly folded one in and then fold in from both sides. So you fold in from both sides like that. And then if you turn it around, You've got a lovely neat edge. All the mess is in the inside. Um, and then I'll do the same again. Fold in the messy edges into the middle. So again, folding the messy edges into the middle. I mean, I haven't done it perfectly, so I'm trying to get through it a bit. Um, but it looks so much neater. <laughs> But actually, it's a bit of a cheat. It's a bit of a cheat for you. I'm going to put that in the bottom as my spare. Um, bit of a cheat, but it works. It works quite well. <laughs> um, so, as I said, this is a bit smaller than I had wanted to go. Um, and our duvet covers, being super king, are humongous. Humongous. I think by the time I've put both of those in, um, these would need refolding, which realistically is just not going to happen very often. Let's try it that way. Mm. And what I'm going to do is what I did up here. I'm going to give myself keep one of these boxes. It's going to be the top one. I will put our duvets in. I may maybe having, if I had two of these, I would do a bedding and a towel one. So that might be another one instead of getting a bigger one, 
is have one for bedding and one for towels and then I can move those down but for now done is better than perfect um, and obviously if I was doing it for a client we would be I'd be more willing to invest in something um, but quite often so if I'm doing something like a whole house declutter for a client we would go for the done is better than perfect and then we do a second sweep through because then we can get the whole house running and what we might have found is if we spend money so we say say I did a linen cupboard with a client we spent money on certain things and then while clearing out something else we realized that maybe there was a better cupboard to put all the linen into maybe we realized that there was a cupboard in the utility room that actually would be a much better storage for the linen cupboard now we spent money sorting out the linen cupboard it makes it a little bit more annoying to then move it and have things that you've probably used too much to return um so if i'm doing more than just one area in someone's house i want to get us through the house as much as possible um so when I do five stages of decluttering, obviously we talked about categorization and minimization today. Um, this is now the organized bit. Then we have a systemized bit. So systemize is how are we going to maintain whatever organization we've put in place? Um, so for me, the system will be needing to tell my partner what I've put in place. Um, but we have the systems for how often we change our bedding and things like that. That would be our, our systems for this and putting some labels in to help with that. Um, and then the fifth stage is glamorization or glamorize. Uh, so categorize, minimize, organize, systemize, glamorize. That would be when you'd go and buy all the pretty things to do. But what you want to do is make sure that you are very set on the configuration. You're very set on the organization. Let the systems sit in place for a while. Make sure it works before you go and spend money on organizational items. Because in the end, the acrylic containers are not going to be what makes you organized. The acrylic containers are going to be what helps you to maintain it because let's be honest if it looks pretty we are so much more inclined to keep it looking nice as human beings we are just like that it's just how we roll um so don't uh do not buy <laughs> until later on do not buy until later on um the flat sheet we don't use very often so i'm actually going to put that under the pillowcases to free up some space I think so that tends to just get used in the super hot summer months let's do that there you go I'm happy with that which frees up some more spaces for towels so what have I got left to do towels wise we've got beach bath one two hand towels so this isn't me putting them I'm just gonna see how and then two for the, the towels underneath, that could work. Mm -hmm. Cool, right, I think we're gonna go, I think we're gonna go with that, but folded better. Um, <laughs> folded better to match the space we've got. So I think this probably wants to go into thirds, um, which should be like that, lovely. Oh, thirds is the magic number. Yes, it is. It's the magic number. Oh, it's a bit snug, but just just about works. Just about fits. Like I said, this would be a little bit bigger if it could. Um. So it's the eight. It's one of those many, many eighty twenty rules that we find in life. Um. Never. You don't want to fill a cupboard or a shelf or a basket more than eighty percent. That 80, that extra 20%. So this one here is a little bit fuller than I would like. It's got a bit more room though. Um, that little bit of extra space isn't empty space. It's space that allows you to be able to get things in and out. If you fill this up, every time you pull one thing out, you're going to make a big old mess. So you want to make sure that there's always that little bit of extra space and space is a noun. It's not, it's not, <laughs> it's a thing. It's a thing in itself. Um, and then these I need to make better. Um, I have a nice way of folding these, but my partner hasn't followed it. So I need to show him how to fold hand towels. Da, da, da. Yeah. 
So this is, I might be able to do this help setting up. It's one of my few folding ones that I actually do teach. So when you, if you put your hand towel on your hand rack like that, it looks so much prettier than if you just scrunch it up like that. <laughs> but it depends, like if it gets pulled off the rack and stuff, you might not bother, but it's always nice for the first time. So I do the thirds down the back. This is from my years in B&Bs. <laughs> thirds down the back like this. Oh, we got another sort of tells me. Um, Sharpie. Dab a dot on each corner of the sheet, blue for single, yellow. Yeah, cool. Color coding on the sheets. Yes, very good idea. As long as you remember the color codes. Um, in hospitality, the sheets that you hire often have a stitch. So, yeah, the single sheets have got a red stitch and the blue. I never remembered for all my years of hospitality, I never remembered which color went with which. Um, always, always fun. <laughs> Um, by the time I had my own places, though, we had the same bedding on everything. Um, so I just stored it better. Um, so three thirds there and then thirds this way as well is how I do mine. So thirds again, going that way. This seems to fit nicely. Mm -hmm. The blue one is actually a dyed one. So my white hand towels, the hand towels get a bit more abuse. They've got some stains on them. They weren't come out. They were clean, but they never looked clean. So I, when I re-dyed some jumpers and some jeans, I just threw a towel in. And same with this one. These are actually a red bathroom set. They're really old, but I've had them a long time. But I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just don't like red. Um, <laughs> don't like red. So um this one went in, the other one's still red, but I'm going to put them in a few more times to get them to like a dark purple and then that's like a nice maroon colour now. Instead, I need to work out the best way to fit these ones in because these are quite big. Da, 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 the power of that. So you can hide the edges. Uh, these are quite long, aren't they, this space? So these are going to stick out a bit in the front, I think, but I think that might work because it's a big towel. No, nope, that sticks out too much for my liking. Let's try that one again. Go the other way. I'm going to try this one the same way I've done the hand towel, but obviously a bit trickier. And normally when I'm folding up my towels, I have the whole landing space, but obviously the landing space is full of all the stuff we pulled out of the linen cupboard now. Um, there go. Tuck the ends in. That's a bit short now. It's rolled better. There we go. That's better. This one's actually smaller doesn't matter my daughter's like me she mainly uses her her dressing gown for after showers and baths and stuff but we do keep this two towels still for her um just these don't take up much space so but they're not there we go there we go beautiful and then i find with these hanging ones you want to try and have something fair not not the most heavy but fairly heavy at the bottom it helps to pull the whole unit straight oh folding up two towels in one there okay one. two let's put that one there so that it makes a pretty shape oh my top's falling off it's always good don't take those ones out very often so that's fine i'm really pleased with that actually i think it's working quite well so in an ideal world i'd have one for towels and one for sheets i'm going to keep an eye out for another one and i've got space on the bar that i could put the other one in so watch the space because then i could have a bit more room in there what I'd quite like is to have my daughter and my partner's towels in separate ones 
the flannels and the hand towels and separate ones because I'm going to put those in. I've got my little head towel there and my daughter's flannels there. I actually keep my flannels somewhere else, a bit random, but it works. The daughter's towel flowers there. Yeah, I'd like to keep these separately and I'd like to split up my partner's because my partner's towel is so big, it kind of could do with its own separate one, which would be those two. And then I'd have another one of these for sheets. So it's whether I, oh, decisions, decisions. Split them up now or not. I think I'm going to, as I've got the box, as I've got the box, I'll do that. Da, 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 da. I've got these lovely baskets actually that I could be using, but they don't quite work how I would want them to work. Um, is then do something. Oh, oh. Daughter's bedding our bedding pillowcases, and then that means we can split these up a bit more. That, 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 that. And bath mats and move up one. And then it does mean I need to refold these two, but <laughs> never mind. Um, how do I want to do you? How do I want to fold you now? All the options, all the plethora of opportunities. So exciting. Yeah, I think that looks better. No, still too wide. This town's so big. So big. There we go. We got there in the end. Got there in the end. Where there is a will, there is a way. Da, 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 da. Not too big. <laughs> Go the other way. That's better. That's better. And then tuck you in. There. That's nice. Much better. It's kind of making me think I'm going to keep one, one more the spare towels down. The daughter ones. And I've got to remember how I just folded it. <laughs> Always good. Always good. Oops, that way wasn't it. Okay. There we go. We've got the space there. So what I'm going to do is keep a lookout for another one of these so I could do a sheet one. And I think that's come out quite nicely. And then we've got flannels and things up in that top bit. Hand towels, bath mats, main towels, and then the spare towels at the bottom. And it looks so pretty. So pretty. And um, what I might do is move it all up this way. So it's not wasting that space in the middle. Um, so making a bit better use of the central bit. And then you can go to there, which means we've got more space for the... I would not recommend moving these things once everything's in it, but there's a bar in my way. So I'm going to have to... <laughs> 
at least it's not too bad. I used to keep all my shoes and things like this as a kid. There you go. So that's it's neater. It does mean that I can't keep a hoover under the chairs where I was going to keep it, but I think it makes more sense here. Um, what I might do is put something on top of the chairs so that I can put the hoover on top of the chair instead. But there's lots of room, so I don't think um, it's it's a massive, it's a bit of a non-issue. So I think that's fine. Yeah, there wouldn't be quite enough room for the towels to be on this side. So that makes a bit more sense. Perfect. Looks good. So something else I'm going to put into here is this is actually the cable, the charging cable for the Hoover. Um, I'm going to pop that in at the back of there so that it's easier to get to. This is coming out now. We've got the little handheld Hoover and its attachments. It can slide in there quite nicely. The Hoover attachments now could do with something for them to all live in. Um, I think I have a purpose for this elsewhere, but until I remember where it is, I'm going to do that. It's got bars at the back, so I'm going to make that the front, make that the back, and slot that in somewhere. I haven't decided where yet, but somewhere. There you go. Fits in the corner of the cupboard quite nicely, so that's in there. I don't think I need the shoebox for anything anymore. Could have the pillowcases in it, but I think the pillowcases are fine as they are. Um, something like that. What I might do in this shoebox is what I was saying about having a wedge down the side. Just put it in as a bit of a, a wedge block to stop these moving too far over because I don't want the sheets going right into the corner because they're much harder to get to then. Um, so yeah, moving that over there. Then we've got, what else have we got to go back in here? The memory boxes, those boxes, and the hoover. So let's put the big hoover in. Um, that's gonna live here. Okay. I can probably put that one, mm, no. Move that one there. Mm, no. Big hoover down here. And then we've got all this free space as our sort of drop zone for anything that's go waiting to go up into the loft. Um, that chair's going to go in the back in there in a minute. So we've got these. So it's my daughter's art supply box. That'll fit there. And our art folders. Like most people, their jewellery box is the most precious thing in the house. But for me, that is that is the most important thing in my house. Um, memory boxes. And then it means we can put these in here. Makes them a lot easier to get to. They just have a sticker name on the side. So they're a bit beaten up because they are just the drop, the drop zone ones. There we go, a bit more room up there. Looks lovely. Excellent. That's going in the loft. That's all going in the loft. So I will leave that out because we will do that today. And um, I've got a few more bits to go downstairs. I've got a pile of bits to go somewhere downstairs. Let's have a look at these boxes. I think this one is in better condition than that one. So I'm going to swap this over. Might as well have the, the newer, nicer ones in the cupboard. The thing is, I would chat to myself even if I wasn't doing this on a live. Oh, that's slimes on my head. Um, push you back, yeah. That was a really bad. <laughs> I was trying to rescue it. It fell out. Uh, fell out and fell apart. 
So fitted sheets, you always put the cuff, see, you put the, uh, fold them over the top, move back over the top. I never, I don't know why, I always knew how to fold a, a, a fitted sheet. I never got why people found it so complicated. <laughs> I was like, it was logical. Before we were being told by um, certain people, you always make it into a square. I was just like, I thought that was obvious. But I suppose that's why I love doing what I do. Because for me, it is obvious. But for most people, it's not. <laughs> there we go. Close enough. Um, that's now empty. I can put my spare bits in there that are going north got some other bits to go north so they'll go in there too this needs to be wrapped up to be posted so that's going to go into my office to be dealt with i lie all the packaging materials for my vintage and stuff is in the spare room so i popped it in there um which means we're done we're done doesn't it look beautiful um i said we won't be fully done until this bit's away so let's Up there, and pop you in here too. Mm. Note yourself, put the Hoover at first. Oh, <laughs> it's there we go. Stacked perfect. And Beautiful. Happy with that. All done. All done. I'll take you. I'll take you a bit closer. Does that work? So we have up here. So we've kept all the, the memory box artwork, memory box drop works, and then we've got our super king bedding, pillowcases that go with everyone's stuff, and then the normal double bed bedding. And then I've done all the towels into this one here, down to the bottom. So I've done a mixture of roll and fold, depending on which ones are fitting in which space. And um, then we've got the little, little hoover and stuff down here, and the big hoover over here, um, and what have you in there. And look, perfect, an hour and a half. Done, done. I mean, I'll be real, like after these, um, there's probably about 20 minutes of me of like extra bits that I've got to tidy up, but it's usually moving stuff away from the space, which is why I don't tend to do that in the lives. And um, I said, we've got a couple of pictures that we now want to hang. I need to convince my partner to get rid of the scary poppy picture. And <laughs> um, there's a box of stuff that's going up to, to going north. Um, and that will go in a couple of weeks we're going up so i've got a load of board games that are going to so that can all go into that'll go into the garage because it's not far away whereas if it was much longer time if we won't go for a few months i'd probably pop it into the loft and set a reminder on my phone or something so i didn't forget um but that can go into the garage because that's fairly imminent and then i'll leave the loft stuff out because when my partner gets back he took my daughter to park and um, our daughter to park uh when he gets back i'll get him to help me put stuff in the loft either before or after lunch so that's that's that done all done it looks so much prettier i've been waiting for ages to do this but i knew i was doing it as part of the october lives so i'm very pleased it looks very beautiful for me as far as i'm concerned but that's the thing it's i didn't think you'd look at this and be like instagram worthy but realistic organization isn't and um, i think two of the big things that we have to remember when it comes to the stuff we see on Instagram. One, we don't see how it gets maintained day to day. Um, and the other one is the space and the stuff within it. So if all of your sheets are like pristine white and all your towels are like new and fluffy, um, then of course it will look a certain way. And if you've spent loads of money, if you've like have all the matching sets, then it's gonna look more like a certain way. But actually I don't want white hand towels. I I don't really want white towels. I will have white towels, but I don't want white towels. But I do want all white bedding. Whereas if I had all rainbow colours, it would look really pretty because there's rainbows. If it was looking all white, it would have a certain aesthetic. Um, but also I wanted to reuse stuff that I already had. Um, like the, I would probably get, if I was buying one of these from the shop, I'd get a white wipeable one. Whereas this 
isn't a wipeable one and it's not white. It's very good. It's completely sound. And um, like I said, it was, and it was two pounds. I'm sure it was two pounds on Facebook Marketplace. Um, and the boxes that, that we use as our memory boxes, we used as boxes for lots of other things first. And they just happened to be that we had three and they fit really nicely. We've got four actually. We've got a photo one that my partner's got those photos in waiting to sort out. Um, but I don't, I don't want to go and buy stuff for a cupboard. This isn't our forever home. Um, we're in a rental that I don't want to spend money on unnecessarily as well. Um, but also I don't, don't I don't go in here enough. I go in here enough that it would bug me if it was a mess and if it was disorganized. But I don't go in here enough that I need it to be all completely matching and coordinated either. Um, whereas if this was like the doors were open and it was an open shelving unit, then I would probably do it slightly differently. I would get matching, um, well, I would just do two hangers of matching things. I would do that differently. Um, all the clothes would be in clothing bags to protect them um, and so that they looked a bit neater and tidier. Like I said, I'm still gonna get, when we go in the loft, I'll get a clothing bag down for my partner's clothes to put those in and his summer clothes so that they are protected but still hung up. Um, but it's just not, it's not a space that I need everything matching coordinate. Now I've got these lovely baskets that I got on Facebook Marketplace that I had considered using for this. Um, and if the aesthetics were more important to me, they would work just about. They're a bit smaller than the IKEA cubes, but for needing a really practical space, they weren't going to work. Um, they were fiver for eight of them. I'm going to upcycle them um, for something, and I will use them for some videos to show you some different options. But for this, a linen cupboard is such a it's such a practical space. It some of us like the big fluffy towels. Other of us like like my partner likes his towel to have a little bit of a crunch to it because it dries better. I like to be in between the two. <laughs> Super awkward. So I'll um I'll part air dry and then do a little blast in the tumble dryer just to give it not too scratchy. My daughter likes super soft, so it's like it's not all going to match. It's not all going to coordinate. My daughter and I love the pink, flowery, fluffy but, uh, beach towels, but not so much my partner's jam. So we haven't got matching towels for the, even for the beach. Um, it's just not real life to have everything like that. And also quite a lot of the American Instagrams and ones we've seen, they have really big linen closets um, in these big, like man what we would consider a mansion is like a normal size house in a lots of those posts. Um, so it's just a very different setup. This, this size linen cupboard or landing cupboard is a massive luxury. Um, this is huge compared, like most of the UK might not even have one of these. So actually this hanging setup here is very good use, um, use of space if you haven't got a linen cupboard to do it in um, your, I mean, you could put a bar up and have one in like the laundry room or you could have that in a wardrobe. So in your, if you've got a bigger bit of space in a wardrobe, you could do that in the wardrobe instead. Um, yeah, so that's quite a good use of space for linen cupboard stuff if you also don't want to do anything new and built in and what have you. But um, I'm really pleased with it. I'm pleased with how it looks. Um, and be very pleased once this stuff goes into the loft as well. Um, but I'm going to tidy those bits and pieces up now. Uh, let me just check when's our next one. Um, so this is our third one. Um, we have coming up, drum roll please, on my phone loads. I think our next one is filing cabinets. Filing cabinets, it is indeed. So Monday at 8, 8 p.m. we are doing the filing cabinet. Um, so paperwork, basically, you might not have a filing cabinet. I do love a filing cabinet. Um, I don't like the concertina folders that spring out. I like an actual drawer filing cabinet. Um, I don't like those ones with lots of little individual drawers. I just, no, um, I'm a filing cabinet kind of girl and that's the one that I would always recommend. Um, and you can get ones with smaller filing cabinets with drawers on top and then you can have all your stationery in the top drawers as well. It works quite nicely. Um, but we will be talking all about filing cabinets, paper storage and other office related bits and pieces eight o'clock on Monday evening so have an amazing weekend go and declutter and organize something um the five-step process that I was talking about is fully detailed in the membership there's a full course in there called declutter and organize um 
you can sign up for just £12 a month and cancel at any time. So you could go in and do the whole course within a month and just pay the £12. Um, if you go to the lifestylecoachuk.com forward slash plans, then you can sign up there. Um, I will see you on Monday evening in this group. But also there is Monday morning over on Instagram. We have morning motivation. So I might see you there too. Ta-ta for now.